Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, December the 4th, 2017, and this is episode 2655. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to this morning's episode of Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Can You Dig It? Stay tuned, won't you? Yesterday I had a wonderful opportunity to be a part of the ministry of Life Church, Pastor Craig Rochelle. Uh, every Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, my wife and I uh, cast the uh, Life Church sermon to our TV and we watch that. And then, for those of you that don't know, I lead an online small group right after that experience that goes from 9 p.m. Eastern to just about 10 p.m. And uh, it's been such a blessing uh, having people from different parts of the world. We come together and we talk about that message. And then on Sunday, uh, beginning uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, I'm part of the team that uh, distributes the Life Church message, the same message that we watch on Saturday night, to Facebook Live and YouTube Live. And there we'll have um, maybe 100 and average 150 in each of those platforms and people commenting and sharing. And it's such a, an honor and a blessing to do that. This message is so powerful. It was week one of a brand new series called God With Us. And there was part of this message. When I heard it, I says, this has got to be my Monday morning episode for Morning Manna. I mean, where did you get that title, Bruce? I mean, seriously, can you dig it? Are you taking us back to the 60s? Well, let me share this passage with you from Psalm chapter 84 verses 5 through 7. Now, the message series is titled God with us, and this particular message was God is with us in the valley. And if you've been alive any length of time, you know that there are mountaintops and there are valleys and there's everything in between. The main point of this message is that you can enjoy God on the mountaintops, but you get to know him intimately in the valleys. Now, here's the passage. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. You see, we're all on a pilgrimage. We're all on a journey, and the journey takes different twists and different turns. Sometimes it's on the mountain, sometimes it's on the valley. Now, verse 6 says, As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. So if you're on your way to Jerusalem, you've got to go through some valleys. And one of the valleys is called the Valley of Baca. It's interesting, this word, this Hebrew word for Baca also is translated in other places, the Valley of Tears. But notice, you pass through the valley. You don't stay there. You pass through the valley. And this particular translation says they make it a place of springs. But I like what the King James says. The King James says, who passing through the valley of Baca, make it a well. Now, make it a springs, make it a well. And then it says the rain also fills the pools. So when you're in the valley and when these people were in the valley, what did they do? They made a well. They dug a well. (laughs) And guess what? The rain, the spring rains, filled the pools, filled the wells. So here's the main point of this message, and I want you to think about this during the day because I think it's going to have different ramifications for different ones of you. But here's the principle. God says, if you dig it, I will fill it. Listen to that again. If you dig it, I will fill it. So, if you're passing through the valley, dig a well. Dig a well. Seek God. 
pursue him. Let him fill it because then you will go from strength to strength. Strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. So Father, I pray today that you'll help me in those valley experiences to dig a well with the expectation that you're going to fill it. You're going to fill it with strength. You're going to fill it with stamina. You're going to fill it with provision. It's my responsibility to dig it. And it's your responsibility, Lord, to fill it. And I trust you to do that today, not only for myself, but for all of the morning men, a family of listeners. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Thanks for being a part of my day and letting me be a part of your day today. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.